mangiare qui. Basta in Hi. Marcus, good to meet you. Yes, sir. Thank you. How are you? Oh, good bro. To see you, man. How are you? I didn't expect you to come back. I know, right? No I know one. you were pushing for it. But... I know. I, fuck, man. Who? I don't know why no, like everyone doesn't want to come back and do it. Yeah. It's the fucking coolest race ever. You fucking guys are so tall. What the fuck? Yeah, really How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Not bad. Okay, oh, hey, hey, bro. I'm not sure I want to stand next to you because I would look really short. I'm on the limit, William. I'm going to stand next to someone short. Is that suit tight enough? It looks like he's about to do the velodrome and the tour. <laughs> Chinese is fine. Are you? Yeah. This way. This way. Use one. Big thing. It's not a single corner one. I bet you've never seen a corner like this before. windy in this afternoon as you can see I have to adjust my hair all in all it's been a pretty good first session kept it out of the barriers so that's goal number one felt, uh, felt pretty weird to come back to F3 but it's amazing to be back in Macau and uh, it's time to go balls to the walls because um, it's business time It's been a treacherous couple of days here in Macau. Uh, I lost my luggage. Um, well, I was flying Air France, so naturally I lost my luggage. It's cold as well. Whoa! Massive moment! That is the third crash that Carlin has had today. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, it's an awesome place. Starbucks is pretty good. For some reason, it's sort of like America again, you know, creamy, creamy milk, it's quite good. Obviously, we did some laps today. It was uh, pretty bizarre the first time getting back in the F3 car. It feels kind of foreign to me at the moment, but towards the end of uh, Q1, I was starting to feel comfortable again, and it uh, seems like our car is fast, so yeah. Balls to the walls, I would say, because it's all about Q2 tomorrow. So tomorrow, I'm going to drive it hard, and um, drive our way into the race, as we like to say at Screaming Meals. Morning. How are you, sir? All right, you? Right now it's time to go down to business. The first session. The is like I mean, I'm here to have fun, but you also come here to you, you race to win, you know? So it's hard to just uh, sit back and enjoy myself too much, but the team's been great and uh, 
yeah, I mean the car is a bit strange, but I guess I'm coming back from IndyCar, so first weekend back, so it's all good. It is qualifying two, it is 40 minutes, and it is crucial in this that the drivers uh, get a good lap time in. You take your better time out of yesterday's session or today's uh, to determine the grid, and it is going to be fantastic. Dennis Hauger, Mari Boyer and Marcus Armstrong, who is also coming back to Macau, having been racing in the IndyCar Championship for Chip Ganassi this year, Marcus Armstrong, 20 if he was. How different could this be from racing in uh, American single-seater racing? Very, very different indeed. But uh, one of the beauties of Macau Grand Prix, it uh, encourages drivers from all over the world to come compete for this. A mighty crowd on the world single-seater stage. Engines fire up, green flag down in pit lane. Qualifying two is underway for Formula Three. Now this is Marcus Armstrong, fastest in this session. That would put him up to third on the aggregated times of what you know, ten yesterday or today. Uh, and he's on another good lap here with two absolute best sectors two and three this could put him in the fives and that brings him very much into the ballpark against Gabrielli Mini of yesterday so Marcus Armstrong now coming downhill this is Black Sands then speed building at this point the fourth sector is a personal best so it started off good although he dropped about four tenths there against the absolute best let's see what he can do then as Marcus Armstrong chipping 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 away to bring down that lap time has got one more corner to go we've got 24 and a half minutes on the clock. If this is in the fives, it's going to be very, very good for Armstrong, and he breaks the beam, and the answer is it's in the fives. It's a two minutes, 5.7. That would be second fastest overall. And now Browning goes top. Two minutes, 5.4. That's the best of the weekend. That's all for Browning. That's this time so far this weekend for a Formula 3 car, Luke Browning. And it's Armstrong. Marcus Armstrong is in the war. And big drama there because also with a lot of damage, you can see, is the Trident car of Uga Uga Chukwu, who had done an absolute best, the personal best red flag, I think. Session is going to have to be stopped. We're down to four minutes. It's going to be effectively one lap. If you were first out, you might snap or two from the available time. This is going to be an absolute shooting. And let's see if Alex Dunn can improve his time. And a big, big off there. Big damage. Red flag. Session's done. 26 seconds on the clock. Red flag. We'll identify the car in a moment. But we've got a grid. It's going to be Luke Browning on provisional pole position because the session won't be resumed with 28 seconds to go. I can't believe. And that has been a massive hit coming out of Moorish again that has claimed so many victims in this session. Bit of a shunt, mate. Huh? A bit of a shunt. Yeah, yeah, fine. Honestly, it wasn't that, that big, huh? the, I just kissed it and... You did it on purpose, didn't you? I was on the flyer. Bullshit. I was. Really? Like, I was 
like three tens up on oh, my, yeah? my best up. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. That's a cool track, huh? It's unbelievable. Right? For sure. High tech's fast this year, huh? Right. They're pole. High tech is pole every year in Macau. Sorry, mate. <laughs> All right, bro. Where are we starting then? P5. Behind me? Where are you? Fourth. Oh yeah? I haven't done a standing start in 12 months. Ah, oh, come on. It's not that hard. Yeah, mate. Well, uh... For crushing to me. It's all right, baby. <laughs> Let's see if your mechanics can get your car ready on time, mate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right, well done, you, mate. mate. Ciao. Yeah, well, as you can see, Rory, I'm still wearing the same clothes as yesterday. So the bag has still not arrived. I'm starting to smell pretty bad because my deodorant was in my suitcase too. So sorry to everyone at MP. Um, but yeah, not a bad Friday. Uh, I decided to save, save myself until Q2. So just kept everything um, in the pocket until it mattered. And uh, I think we were pretty good on the first part of quality. Then on my last lap, I brushed the barrier. And that was, I just bent a little bit the uh, rear of the car and that's it. So um, we missed out on the last push lap. Nevertheless, we are P5. So, I mean, it's okay. I, you can, in my opinion, you can win here from the first three rows. So up to sixth, in my opinion, but I feel like we're in a good spot. The car feels good and uh, and I'm just being patient because this week is long, really long. And uh, I mean, it's funny saying that now because I just had some crash damage, but I feel like I'm sort of being, you know, taking it step by step and um, I'll put, you know, balls to the walls again in the final race. I'm not a part of this conversation. <laughs> His media team has not signed off on this yet. Uh, I tell you what, getting him on Screaming Mills was one of the hardest people ever. Yeah, I'm uh, exclusive. Exclusive, yeah, I guess we can call it that. So the GT cars have obviously, they're sitting there in pit lane, there was a red flag, so uh, there might be a bit of a delay for our race, but um, on, a, on a good note, I uh, got my luggage back last night, I'm uh, finally wearing some fresh clothes, and uh, I've also put some deodorant on as well, for those of you who wondered, and I'm uh, feeling fast. tomorrow's Grand Prix is about to get underway. The pit lane is open and the cars making their way round to the grid, ready for this qualifying race, the result of which determines after 10 laps uh, the order that they will start tomorrow's 15 lap Grand Prix. Luke Browning on pole position and Gabrielli Mini second ahead of Dina Baganovic and uh, Isaac Hadjar on row two. The third row, another returnee to Macau with Formula 3 from racing in America. Marcus Armstrong with Alex down very impressively sixth ahead of Oliver Goethe. Now, 
pressure mounts. Drivers have got warmth into the tyres. They know the importance of this race. It doesn't give you the win in the Grand Prix, but it does give you a good grid position. That could give you a win in the Grand Prix. The qualification race about to get underway for the Formula 3 cars, the Macau Grand Prix. The first leg is underway and a great start from pole position by Luke Browning. It's Luke Browning from pole position that has the inside line. He just gets the advantage. Gabriel Mini has a look down the outside, then jinx to the inside, but it's still Luke Browning. Wow. Marcus Armstrong is coming down the pit lane. So dramas for the New Zealand driver. So dramatic start. And so I was saying early on that there'll be some hard luck stories after this. Isaac and I were side by side and he just went right hand down on me. It was his corner but he tried to squeeze me and we got tangled and gave me a puncture. So, um, it's so fucking annoying. You come all this way and it's just like, done in a flash. Damn. Yeah. I don't know what to say. That's, uh, that sucks. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what do you think you can do from way back there? Uh, tomorrow. From P20? Yeah. <laughs> uh, just overtake as many cars as possible. I'm just going to do my best to, to fight through and finish uh, inside the top 10. Yeah. Okay. Thanks very much, Marcus. Thank Thanks. Okay. Tomorrow. See ya. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. How are you? Okay. I well, crashed with the team. Good job, bro. Marcus, can I get a photo together, please? <laughs> yes, of course. Thank you! How are you? Thank you! Thanks! Have a nice day! Sunday? Is it Sunday already? Fucking hell! It's getting started, mate! Yeah! I mean, this is probably my favourite time of the day when I got my um, blueberry yogurt here. I could have been on the couch uh, watching with James and Clem, who were telling me not to come here. But I love Macau. I think it's one of the coolest places in the world. The only thing that Macau is missing is, you know, a decent granola bowl. Um, unfortunately, I can't do anything about that, but <laughs> I'm going to eat that now. G'day. This is a banger, this is Here you go. Thank you. Hello. 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 Thanks. We might time ourselves quite well here. I reckon we could transition pretty seamlessly from Formula 1 to Macau. P22 to P1. How hard could it be, right? Just flat out, just go. If I jump the start, hear me out. If I jump the start, I get a five second penalty. But I could make up 20 spots. The 70th Macau Grand Prix, 40 years since Ayrton Senna won the first Formula 3 race. It has produced heroes and it has generated stars of the future. There's going to be another one in 15 laps time. The lights haven't come on yet. Green flag still flying. There's a yellow. There is a yellow flag. We have. We have a. Have we one got a stall of it? Yeah, we've got a stall of it. Yeah. I think it's one of the um, Red Bull cars. And it's go. And one spot for Marcus already. We like that. Browning is so fast in the straight. Holy shit! 
Oh! Alex Dunn's just gone shit. straight on. Dunn's just deduced it. And Marcus keeps his front wing yesterday. Luke Brown is still oh. even race. Oh! And oh. 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 he needs to get the get fuck out of the car. Fast, 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 fast. Yeah. Get out, get out, get out. Luke Browning goes around the final corner and is about to take the checkered flag and the win in the Formula 3 Macau Grand Prix. How good. Bravo, sir. Bravo. Not the Macau return you dreamt of. We were just involved in every single crash we could be involved in. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. Um, fuck, Aaron had a big one, huh? Real big. Yeah, I lost a couple of the guys towards the front. Yeah, that's a shame we weren't there to fucking capitalize on it. <laughs> That's Rory. I know. Oh, this is like a dream. Oh my gosh. One, two. One, two. Yep, here we go. That was easily the least physical race weekend I've ever done. Normally after a race weekend you feel your neck's a bit sore or whatever, your wrists are sore or whatever, but all I have is just a bruise here. That's because my seat is actually Collar Pinto's seat. It didn't actually fit me very well. I've been worrying about it most of the week. That suit was way too big for me, and I looked like uh, a marshal with the orange. <laughs> That's what you get for getting me to do it. I thought I should be out there waving a yellow flag. End of the year, in a way. It was fun, though. It was really fun. Um, it w I was having a lot of fun right up until turn three in the qualifying race. Uh, it's a shame because unfortunately here you don't have pit stops and these races are not long enough for you to actually come back. So as soon as you do have that that issue, and which we had with Hadjar, that's it. You can't come back from it. So um, damn it. Fuck yeah, I'm pissed off because I love this race so much and we were fast this week, we had a good car, um, we were fast on the straights, which is unusual for my history in F2 and F3, um, and it was like, yeah, we, we even had the track position for it, and we were surrounded by rookies, so it was like, just keep your nose clean and try and do exactly what Hauger did, but unfortunately, um, a really clumsy crash with Hedgehog just ruined it all, so, um, and I can learn from that because now I can always go back to that scenario and remember, you know, if you're wheel to wheel with certain characters, you've got to give them an extra inch or two. So, um, yeah, I'm uh, not going to lie. I'm very pissed off, but, you know, I came here to Macau. I wanted to have fun, and I definitely did. So, yeah. See you on the potties. Backbone.